Hey everyone, welcome back to another Splitgate video. Um, I'm gonna be pounding these out. I'm going crazy with the videos. Um, so, <laughs> today's video, or not just today's video, I'm making a few videos today. Um, this video is gonna be on good keybinds for Splitgate, right? So, Splitgate is obviously a very new, not a new game, it's an old game, but a lot of there's a huge new player base me included and i've fallen in love with the game it's so much fun and so fresh like i used to i played fortnite for years and and it, it has that beginning of like the good old days feel um so i'm loving it right now um so today's video is just going to be going over key minds and what good key minds and controls are going to be for mouse and keyboard, not controller. I don't know about controller. Um, I used to play controller on Fortnite a lot, but the day, those days are over. Here we go. Let's get right into some settings. I'm not going to focus on video settings as much. One thing that I need to say is I'd go max FOV, right? I think default is 90. I'd go max just because FOV is field of view, it's the more you can see. So instead of just seeing like, I don't know, like I don't know what the 90 stands for, but let's say, let's say 90 degrees, right? So let's say you only see 90 degrees, you got some little blinders on, you don't want that. You wanna see 100 degrees, which may be a little bigger. Just, it allows you to get more information in. I have a 144 Hertz monitor, so that's, the refresh rate I'm gonna be using um and then the rest is like it's up to you I'd probably go low shadows lets you see a bit more and what you need to have is portal quality on epic and epic this makes it to where looking through a portal is more and more like looking just at a normal whatever like a normal scene from the game so you, that basically makes it to where the frame rate and the quality, it makes it to where you can see people better and clearer and you can shoot at them, which is an obvious advantage. This is more for keyboard, as I said. Um, what I think is pretty big is, let's see. So normal WASDA for move forward. Sprint, I turn auto sprint on. I'm sure if you have it off, it's fine, and it probably gives you better control of your movement, but I just like having it on, at least just learning. Um, crouch, left control, C, whatever you want. Fire, reload, alright. So melee is V, I changed it to Q, I think I'm still gonna change this, right? Don't change this yet, look at my settings and kind of figure out what you want them to be. I have grenade on F. If you watch my last video, you see oftentimes when I'm trying to reload, I accidentally press F. So I'm gonna change this. Action is E instead of F. I just like E better. And if you can tell if action is on E, then I must have moved my portals. So that's where this comes in. So for portals, I have them on my thumb mouse buttons right so I have my portals here and here and then I have my come on let's focus camera focus up and then I have my picking up and putting down portals on my mouse wheel right so I think this is pretty important just because it's really easy to um, pick up and put down your portals. I have it to where if I press like my forward mouse mouse button, if I want to pick it up, I scroll forward. And my back mouse mouse button, if I want to pick it up, scroll backwards. But it lets me just go like a flick of my finger, go whoop whoop, and chilling, right? So, and then I also think, I haven't done this yet, but as I'm making this video, I'm thinking about it. I'll test it out. But imagine close portal 
Oh, that would have been sick. You know how you can double bind things in Fortnite? Imagine you could close both portals with one button if it was double bound. That would be meta. Anyway. Um, and then for inventory, I really don't like one and two. But I also don't like middle mouse button. But since you only have two weapons, a primary and a secondary, it's not like most games where you have like a knife as well or just like you can pull out your fists. Um I have next weapon on middle mouse button. I think I'm probably gonna change this to like three because three is very easy for me to press. And I'm probably gonna change my grenade to like four. But you know, it's a good thing to keep in mind. Obviously, this is all your preference, but I definitely focus on portals. What you're using for portals. Um, and then the rest is pretty, pretty normal. I hope that this video helped you all out. Um, also, one thing that I didn't plug, like, with my mouth in the other video that I just made on portal peeking and why it's important for early game players um i didn't plug my like referral code if you're just starting out this won't this won't work if you're like level 10 or above but if you're below level 10 i'd recommend plum, 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 um using my referral code wow oh sorry taco mic anyway um basically this means that I think every person that uses my code, I get like a hundred split coin or something like that, or 50. And if you use it, you get like a skin and like a hundred, I think. Um, but instead of maybe using someone who gets like a thousand viewers playing Splitgate live or like has 500,000 subscribers, why don't you use the code for someone who has 20 subs? make you think anyway um i will put that up on screen wow and uh wah, wah. if you want to use that use it if you don't you know i i plugged it just for the sake of plugging it anyway um i hope you all have a great day and uh yeah keep splitting and keep gating peace